For the average hatter, the prevalence of drugs in our city could be surprising, but according to one admitted user, it's more common than you might think. There's a lot of denial in medicine hat. Like, oh no, that doesn't happen in our city, and it's only the poor people that it happens to. And But, you know, like, I've been in many different places in this city, and I've seen the same type of usage. Drew Dimitro is one of over a hundred clients accessing the Medicine Hat Care Centre. Since it opened its doors in July, the staff have handed out a staggering amount of needles each month. We're giving over 10,000 clean needles. That just shows us that it's high, especially for a population of 65, close to 65,000. The centre aims to reduce harm for drug users and educate them on protecting themselves. Once people are not using um, you know, needles and clean needles for that matter, that's also another opportunity for you know, um, diseases like HIV and Hep C to be transmitted. Stopping the spread of diseases is only one of the center's goals. Ultimately, they hope to raise awareness and understanding. Some people may say, oh, okay, they're using drugs, it's their fault. But when you really look at it, some of them, it's just that they're trying to get through um, life's hard issues that they've faced, and they do need help, because you see most of clients coming in saying, I want to stop. I think everyone knows that the issue is important. It's something that is occurring in our community, and. Um, Everyone deserves respect and fair treatment, and that's what we're trying to provide here. For Drew, coming to the care center gives him the support he doesn't always get from the outside world. People that see you come in here, they definitely give you a second look sometimes, and it's um, not quite always fair, right? Despite his struggle, the center has obstacles of its own, keeping up with the community's unprecedented need for its services. Kelsey Morrison, Chat News.